In this video, we will be going over some basic Google Chrome uh, web browser maintenance, and we're going to focus mainly on performance, not so much customization. And so this will just be some basic maintenance that you can go through uh, to help the web browser function more efficiently. I'm doing this on Windows 10, but if you're using a different version of Windows or a Mac, the steps are going to be the same. Uh, we're just going to start off by coming up here to the top right corner and clicking on the menu here and we'll go down to help and click on about Google Chrome and right here we're just making sure that the browser is up to date if yours is not it will start to automatically update and then give you a relaunch button to click on you want to click on that button to restart uh, Google Chrome and this is very important to keep your browser updated because it includes security updates now, if you ever need to verify that individual components of Google Chrome are updating, you just come up here to the address bar and delete the word help and type in components. And this will bring up a list of components. For example, if we want to double check and make sure Adobe Flash Player is updated, we just click check for updates. And you can see that it's not updating because it's already updated. Now again, these components should already be updating here uh, when Chrome checks for updates. However, that's how you check for them individually. Next, you will want to come back up here to the address bar and again, delete the word help and replace it with plugins. And when you hit enter, it will bring up a list of plugins. Right here, we have only the default plugins. So yours may be different depending on which plugins you have installed. Uh, we usually recommend that you don't check this box um, just so that way the plugin's not always running in the background. Um, if you have a plugin that you absolutely need to keep running, then you can leave it checked. But generally speaking, we recommend that you leave it unchecked if possible. If you need to disable a plugin, you can do so here as well. Now I'm just going to come up here and click on the back button. And we're going to come over here to settings on the top left. And this will bring up a list of settings. Now, again, we're not going to go over every setting, um, just the main ones that are going to affect performance. If we go down this list, uh, first we can decide what, uh, what Google Chrome does when it first starts up. And so right now I'm going to select this bottom option. And we can actually set uh, what pages come up when we open Google Chrome. So for example, if we wanted uh, just uh, Google to open. We could add that. We could also add a second one. We could add uh, ESPN if we wanted to. And once we're finished, we just hit OK. And so if I close Google Chrome and reopen it here, you can see that now it's bringing up Google in one tab, and in the second tab, it brings up uh, ESPN. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the settings. Now back here on settings, so we've already um, clarified what we want to have happen on startup. Underneath appearance, we can put a check mark that will add the home button, and we can set our home page right here uh, to whatever we want it to be. Um, I'm just going to click on this bottom option and type in, we'll just put Yahoo as our home page. Hit OK. And so if we hit the home button, it will now take us to Yahoo, which is now our home page. I'm just going to hit back. So we're back on the list of settings. Right here, we can manage what our default search engine is. We usually recommend that you use Google, Yahoo, or Bing. But if you're looking to increase privacy and security, we also recommend DuckDuckGo just because they will not track you. So you can manage search engines here. If we cont uh, continue down here is where you can change or make Google Chrome your default web browser. If I click on this button, here in Windows 10 it will open up this window. We'll have to select this option underneath web browser. And then click on Google Chrome. And now Google Chrome is the default web browser. You can verify that right here now that the button is gone. We're going to click on Show Advanced Settings. 
Now underneath privacy, if we click the content settings button, it's going to bring up a list of options here. Each section has a recommended uh, option or setting. Now for the average user out there, that's probably the setting you're going to want to use is just the uh, recommended setting for each section. Now if you're looking to increase privacy and security, for example with cookies, you could set it to block sites from setting any data and then add exceptions to websites you trust. Same with JavaScript. Um, another one you'd want to look at is possibly Flash. Uh, Pop-ups generally you don't want to allow but you can add exceptions if needed. Location, you could block all of them and then add exceptions if needed. Um, and so I would just continue Going down the list, microphone, camera is another good one. Just for protection, you could block those. Add exceptions for websites that you know and trust. Same with un, uh, unsandbox plugins. You'll probably want to block those. Add exceptions if you know or trust any. Same with automatic downloads. Um, so you'll want to just go up and down this list. And uh, you can increase the security for each section. But again, for the average user, you'll want to use the recommended setting. Now, if we go back here, we can also clear our browsing data just by clicking this button. Uh, now, we would not recommend that you delete out your passwords unless you have them stored elsewhere. Um, so that's going to be up to you. If you want to delete everything you can, uh, normally you will want to at least check these top four boxes and then select however far back you want to go. If you want to delete everything, we can do the beginning of time. And then we just click the clear browsing data button. And then here below privacy, now these boxes, these four that are checked right now, those are the default settings. Uh, for the average user, um, or actually to increase computer security, what we would recommend is that you go ahead and uncheck these top boxes here and also check the send a do not track request. You can read through this here. Now that is the maximum that you can do to increase your privacy and security. Some of you may want to keep these ones selected, but again, if you're looking to increase computer security and privacy, you're going to want to uncheck those and just use these two right here. Protect your you and your devices from dangerous sites and send a do not track request. We would not recommend checking this box or this box because you don't want to be sending usage reports or diagnostics because you don't know what Google is doing with them and those could also be stolen. So let's continue down. Uh, if you need to manage your passwords or autofill or turn it on and off, this is where you do so. Uh, same with font size and page zooms here. Uh, continuing down um, if we go down a little bit more, now if you uncheck this box, it will help increase performance just so that way you don't have uh, apps running in the background, even when Google Chrome is closed. If you want to reset all the settings, you can just click this button as well. Next we're going to go to extensions. Now anyone who's watched our videos before knows that we strongly recommend uh, using as few extensions as possible because extensions open up the browser to malware and hackers and a lot of extensions also track you and your information so it's a security and privacy risk. So what we recommend is that you go through and remove as many extensions as possible. If you see any extension with the word toolbar in it, it absolutely must be removed. And so we're just going to start going down this list and just going to click on this garbage can, remove. We're going to remove this one as well. Remove, remove. Now, these ones right here from Google, these are just the standard extensions that come with every Chrome uh, browser. What we can do is just disable them while they're not in use. And then if we need to use them, we can come back and re-enable them. Uh, continuing down the list, we're going to remove. Now, if you have one like this that's a password vault or password manager, that's one that we would recommend that you keep because it has your passwords. Uh, your Google Chrome browser can also save your passwords as well. 
So if you're already saving them in Google Chrome, then you may want to consider getting rid of your uh, password vault, but that's up to you. Depending on if you have other passwords there, then you may want to keep it. Um, you can disable it while it's not in use. And then again, remember if anything has toolbar in it, make sure you remove it. And so we've gotten rid of all the extensions uh, that we do not need. I am going to come up here and just check this developer mode and just make sure to click up the extensions now so all the extensions we have left will just double check, make sure they're updated for security reasons, and that will do it for the extensions. Last, I'm going to come up here to the address bar and delete extensions and replace it with the word uh, apps. And this will just show the apps that are on the uh, Google Chrome browser that are installed in the Google Chrome browser. Now, I only have just the standard uh, apps, but if you find some junk here, some apps that you don't use, that you want to get rid of, all you do is you just right click on the app and it will give you a remove option so you can remove it from Chrome. Again, I've only got the standard ones. Those are probably the ones we'd recommend that you use. If there's others that you want to keep, that's up to you. But we would recommend that you remove any that you do not use. Again, just by right-clicking and going to remove from Chrome.